Hey, I'm Jen Kretschmer. Today we are going to drink outside the box because it is what's in the box. So today uh, we are going to be opening the Kampai box. It is three sakes. It is bi-monthly, so that's this month and then not next month and then the month after. It is $35 a month. You get three curated sakes. Hooray, because sake is delicious. Let's find out what we've got going in here. This, uh, first of all, you must obviously be 21 years old to order this box. I'm going to knock my table over. So kanpai is the toast you use when you are toasting in Japan. It is kanpai. So let's see what we have here. It is a, there is a card on top. It says, hello, what's in the box? Thank you for trying our early spring box. We hope you will love it. Kanpai, cheers. Thanks, Kanpai. So these are the early spring sake selections. Looks like we've got uh, Aladdin Nigori, Nigori sake. I'll get into these in a second, I guess. A Snow of Kaga frozen sake, and a Nizumi Otoko Rat Boy Junmai sake, a Junmai Jinjo. Ginjo, Jinjo, I don't speak Japanese, and I'm sorry if I'm massacring that. There are uh, descriptions here that's why they've chosen it, um, what is unique about it, recommended drinking temperature, um, and food pairing advice, so that's pretty cool. So we're gonna set this aside, and we will take a look at it when we taste each of the sakis. Oh, there's a recipe for cream cheese miso. Sounds sounds delicious, and I it, I guess this is something that would pair with these sakes. It's got mirin and white miso in it, so those are really traditional flavors that will go really well with sake. Kukia looks like a little cookie biscuit, maybe? Um, a green tea. Um, and then these are all packaged in a kind of decorative pink confetti type uh, situation. So they all come nicely bubble wrapped. Oh, this one's cool. Neat like Aladdin's lamp kind of Berlinmeyer flask-like bottle, Ooh, jar, can-like thing. Oh, that's nigiri, you're thinking of nigiri, which is the, the yeah. um, sushi, right. it's the not roll okay. sushi. So this is a nigori sake. Uh, it is in a, uh, it's called an Aladdin bottle, it says right there. It was established in 1918. Uh, it is vivid aromas unfolding with layers of banana and pear flavor. So it's gonna be a super fruity sake, it sounds like. And nigori means cloudy in Japanese. It's recommended as chilled, uh, and it's supposed to be great with yakitori. So let's try this out. I do not have any uh, traditional sake cups, so we're gonna we're gonna do this Moroccan style with shot glasses. Gonna go a little easy because you know, middle of the day. Eh. It's really light. You're not getting a ton of alcohol in it. It's very sweet and kind of smooth. Feels like it would be like a good casual, maybe drinking on the patio spring kind of thing. You know what, this is an excellent weekend. Or whenever, Saki. So happy whenever. Cheers. Kanpai. There's definitely a lot of fruit there and a little bit floral. I do get the banana. It's kind of like a, almost like a smoothie. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty interesting. I like it a lot. Really light on the alcohol, lots of fruit, a little sweet. That's actually really, really, really yummy. So let's try the second one, which is the, the Snow of Kaga. They are recommending that you freeze it and it becomes like a slushy. You're supposed to freeze it for three to four hours in the fridge and enjoy a sake sherbet. Cool. Thanks to the magic of movies. Nice and chilly. Still not chilly enough to freeze like it's supposed to be, but we're gonna go with it anyway. But look, frost. The Snow of Kaga. We couldn't quite get it that cold because the office fridge is not that awesome. And they're recommending this as like an in-between meal courses thing. It also sprayed all over me when I opened it. Again, it's this one's a clear sake. It's not an unfiltered. It smells really good. Um, it's like a, it's a more traditional sake smell. A ton of fragrance. Oh, it's yummy. This is a yummy sake. Almost like a coconut, super round bodied, tasty. It's really, really good really light, it's really floral, it's crisp, it's yummy. It's a more dry finished white wine. It's really, really, really tasty. And I think frozen it would be awesome. The Snow of Kaga, really, really awesome. Big thumbs up on that. And it would be really cool to try it frozen. Just means we're gonna have to have another sake box sometime soon. So sake 
So this one is the uh, the Nozumi Otoko, the Rat Boy. Um, it's a Junmai Ginjo made from goriki rice, which apparently is called. It, it translates to strong power. So this is a rice that ages well. Yeah, this the this, this specific rice I guess only is grown in this one one spot. So you get the Champagne Bordeaux, you know, classification system. This can be chilled room temperature or warm. So it's a very versatile temperature sake. It sounds like it's a really versatile, kind of flexible sake. Rat boy sake. And again, very classy with my uh, with my shot glass. Actually, you know, you could just probably just cheers. Tom pie. So it's almost a, a round um, first note on it. It's a quick finish. It might, I wonder if temperature would change the flavors. I feel like maybe cold this would be a little more to my taste. I think it might cut the crispness a little. Like for me, this is this is not my favorite that I've tried. I think if it's chilled, it probably would be or or hot. I feel like maybe the extreme, the more extreme temperatures might. But the the texture is like a, a white wine. It's a light. It, it makes sense for spring, absolutely. Yeah. I feel like m maybe you could pair this with sort of the same things you would pair like a Pinot Grigio with. Okay. So let's try this Kukia. Oh, okay. It's wafers. Got a little logo on the front. It looks like it's green tea, uh, green tea paste inside. It's like those layer cookies that you get with the cream filling, um, but it's green tea and it's delicious. So I'm gonna try the this is the cookie. Yeah, with a little food that actually cuts through nicely. The kind of creaminess of the of the filling on the cookie it plays off of that. You get a little bit more of the acidity. Any excuse for the pink one, it's delicious. You know what? I think it actually pairs better with the. Rat boy, and the cookie is yummy. <laughs> My absolute favorite is, I think I'm going with snow okada. It's really, really tasty. So, yay sake. So thank you so much again to Kampai Box for sending this over. We are so excited to have the next one because this was fantastic and so good. And this was for spring. I'm curious what summer would hold. Make sure to like, follow, subscribe. In the bar below, you can find the Kampai sake box. And let us know what your favorite sake is. What do you like to have with your sake? How would you have any of these sakes? How would you repurpose this really awesome bottle after destroying all of the sake that is within it? Because it is really delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, we will see you next time. I am Jen. This was What's in the Box. It was sake. Kampai. Cup of tea, I can't even solve a Rubik's Cube. So to do this one, it would be maddening, and I think I would give up after five minutes, and I actually probably already have. Puzzle Crate ships monthly, and as you can tell, this is probably gonna take me a month or more to unscramble this, so if you're into scrambling,